So I wanted to share with you an update and a new purchase. The telescopic gem that I bought before, I really am in love with it. I take it everywhere and I've been practicing a lot and it's made me feel really inspired to keep working on my form. And I think it's really helped with my form because it's light. I mentioned this in my last review that if you want to practice the form, having a light one can really help. And the polypropylene uh, gem that I've been using is quite heavy and so sometimes it's difficult to extend your arm fully because you're going to feel the weight in your shoulder after not very long. So it's been really nice because I've been able to train with this a bit longer and work on my form and my technique. I would say as uh, the review to it, be a little bit careful. <laughs> the uh, tip doesn't always go inside straight away or easily and I just use my hand to bang it and I cut my skin. It's not a big deal, but I think it could be worse. So I think that's what this little cap is for. Firstly, you don't want the uh, edge falling out. So this cap is used for keeping it in place so it doesn't come out. But it can also be used when you are actually putting it away that you can put it on the end and then you can press it down and you can hit it and you're not going to damage your hand. So just be careful with that. It is made out of quite a sharp metal. It's not sharp. It's just a very thin edge. You can cut your hand. The only thing I really don't like and I would definitely replace is the tassel because it's not a very good quality one and it's been pulling, all the threads have been coming out and then it gets tangled around in various places or these ends get tangled around in various places or because I train outdoors, they get um, locked with leaves and various things. You can see the detail on them they are starting to come uh, apart a little bit it's good enough for what it is but um i don't love the tassel but other than that i think it's really great the long tassel i thought was a bit strange as well but it's helped me a lot because if i try and spin the sword too close to my head i have knocked myself in the face with these so it helps me remember to keep my um, arm more extended. So there are benefits to everything and everything can be a teacher to you. But um, certainly I would, I would like to get something that's just a little bit nicer. Uh, uh, just to show you, this is the polypropylene GM that I use as well. And it is really great because it is really heavy. I weighed it and it's a kilo. So um, that is about the weight of a katana, a light katana, which is normally two-hand. So I was so impressed with the telescopic gem that I decided to buy the slightly more expensive version, mainly because it's more heavy. I ordered this brand from China, which you can get on AliExpress for about $30, or I got it on Amazon in Japan for about $50 because I didn't want to wait a month for it to arrive. And overall, it's a bit more premium. It comes in a quite a nice little um, not leather, fake leather pouch. It's got like a soft lining and the actual gem is made out of steel this time instead of aluminium. And it weighs somewhere in the region of 500 grams, I think 450 or something like that. And it's just a better quality, so you can see that it's got a, um, a fully metal handle and this is a plastic, I guess, grip on the handle itself. It's got a metal protecting cap for the blade itself. And it's got quite a good quality tassel, although this one's huge. It's like as big as my head. So it'll be quite interesting to see what it's like to use this one. It is actually longer, so I'm probably gonna hit myself in the head with it even more than I do now. <laughs> so if you shake it up, it works exactly the same as the other one in terms of how it works, but they say that it is steel. I'm about to test that. So there's a really easy test to find out if something is steel or alloy. 
which is with a magnet. So this is definitely alloy. And uh, this is not sticking. So I'm not sure if this is stainless steel. Well, it's not stainless steel if it doesn't stick to a magnet. And this is not sticking. So they claim that this is stainless steel in the item description. And it looks very nice. I mean, if you look at the detail, so I think it's definitely plated and that may start to cause the uh, finish to look quite poor quite quickly, which is disappointing to be honest because I would rather have it not look so shiny but last a bit better than have it look really good straight out of the box and start to look really rubbish in no time at all. But I think that's one of the things that they tried to justify the price. They, used what is a very premium uh, feeling grip and they've used some very shiny looking metal and said it looks well said it is steel when it just looks like steel to justify the slightly more premium price and to be fair it, it feels like a more premium product compared to my original one which has this plastic handle which i don't love but the actual blade on this one i think looks and feels better. Maybe you can see it's had a fair bit of use. It's got some mud on it because sometimes I tried to bang it on the ground to get it back in. But it's got no um, obvious signs of wear from where the blades are sliding in and out of each other. Or maybe just a little detail. But you don't see any damage to the finish because it's just unplated aluminium. They give the length of the total sword and they don't really break down the blade versus the handle, but generally, from what I've seen of these ones, the handle is about 20 centimeters. So when they say it's 90 centimeters, they actually mean that it's 20 centimeters for the handle and 70 centimeters for the blade. So this one was 70 centimeter blade and about 20 centimeter handle. And this one that I've just bought now I bought 96 so it's just a little bit longer another detail of this one is that the balance is different because this is a telescopic blade there's not really much weight that they can add to it so when they increase the weight of the sword they have to increase the weight of the handle and that changes the balance point so with this one actually the balance point is much closer to the handguard which I think will be really good for turning and really good for um, just generally the feeling of the gen. So I really look forward to trying this out. I'm gonna take it out with me today and um, test it. As I mentioned before, what I really am excited about with this one, more than the finish, is just the weight. I want something that's gonna give me a little bit more feedback and have a bit more weight. And when you buy a real training sword, it is around the 450, 550 gram mark. So this one should feel more like a traditional training sword. By the way, my training sword is still in France. <laughs> I ordered it mm, maybe two weeks ago and it hasn't come. I think Christmas in Europe, everything slows down. It's gonna be quite some time before it arrives, which is the other reason why I decided to buy this one and not wait for AliExpress to deliver because I want to get going with my training a little bit more. And this one was interesting. So I will update you. I will update you on this when I get to use it a little bit more and tell you what I think about it in practice. 